All right, season 13 is finally here, man. I've been waiting for this for so long. They delayed it and everything. We got the patch notes. Wait a second. What the? What the? What? There's so many. Yo, what is going on everyone? It is Trident here back again with the Commonwealth video and season 13 just dropped. I personally love this season, but let me know what you think in the comments down below. Anyways, in today's video, we're going to be going over the buffs and the nerfs and all the news about Season 13 since there's a lot of new changes this season in a more easier to watch, more digestible content for you all. I tested out basically all the buffs and nerfs in private matches, so I hope you did enjoy the video. Like the video if you enjoy, subscribe for new, and let's get right into the video. So starting off the weapons changes, we have two nerfs to the HVK-30 with the large caliber mag attachment. And the large caliber mag attachment is the only thing that makes the HVK-30 usable. So the first nerf is less mid-range damage. So at close range, it's still going to be a four shot kill with a very high time to kill. But at those mid-ranges, at those like 20 meters mid-range, it's going to be a five shot kill. No longer a four shot kill, which sucks. The time to kill dropped. Um, now the second nerf that the HVK-30 received with the large caliber attachment is that you have one less bullet per mag. So I mean that's very minor but it is still a nerf. And one last thing I want to say is this doesn't apply only to the HVK-30 um, but when you use all the bullets in your mag you have to do a full reload animation. Um, so if you use only like half or anything besides the full mag you won't have to reload fully. So the next weapon that got nerfed was the Fennec. The Fennec got four nerfs. I'm so high. I could throw a party right now, man. So the Fennec got uh, less damage. Uh, so at close range, it's going to be 10 shot kill minimum. Um, it also got higher reload speed. So nerfing for the uh, reload speed. And also um, just in general, whether it's akimbo or single Fennec, it got a, a nerf for accuracy when walking and jumping. And... You're going to have less mobility when using the MIP light barrel short and no stock attachments. Also, there's going to be a new assault rifle added in the game, the Peacekeeper MK2 through the battle pass coming December 22nd, and this is going to have a very fast fire rate, good recoil control, and apparently very, very versatile. We also have a new SMG being added to the game, the XQR, that's not coming through the battle pass, but rather through an event, and it reminds me of the Fennec, really good at close range. Now we also got three nerfs for the MIP stopping power reload attachment for the Arctic 50, decreasing both fire rate and recoil control, and lowering the amount of bullets per clip from 7 to 5. Also, snipers in general got a nerf for sway when you scope in, called hard scoping, uh, so make sure you just quick scope so you don't get that sway. There are also two new attachments coming to the game through events, the first one called Elite Foregrip for the BK57. And the second one is a perk for the Razorback called Rapid Fire, which hopefully should make the Razorback even better than it was last season. Now there is also a nerf for the YKM Integral Suppressor Light Barrel that decreases recoil control and I personally use this on both my ICR and Chicken builds. Lastly, the Baseball Bat is getting a nerf for weapon switching time. Now it's going to have the same animation as the Axe, so it makes sense, it's a longer range knife. So Dead Silence got nerfed. The only audio you're going to hear here is from the main screen, which is my iPad, and the only thing that's running is on my phone, which is in the top corner. So as you can hear, uh, when you sprint, you people can hear you, especially like within 20 meters, they can hear you. So wearing headphones is, is a must nowadays. Just as always, you can hear people when they slide, nothing has changed. But when you jump, people can hear you when you touch the ground. As you can see at the top of the screen, there's only three occasions where dead silence will actually activate. The first one is by crawling. Next up is squat walking, and let me know if I should make a video on Skulker, maybe that's going to help.
by now you should notice that you'll be able to hear when you crouch when you switch weapons when you place equipment that is not covered by dead silence but of course walking is covered by dead silence Next up, Flak Jacket did get a buff, um, reducing the damage of both the Molotov Cocktail and the Thermite damage over time. So that was without Flak Jacket, and this is with. So it does take about half HP to kick in, but it definitely does work to slow down. So again, this is normal HP, really, really quick with the Thermite, but with the Flak Jacket, it does take some time to kick in. Now this next change is a little bit sad for me since I'm Tripmine Trident, but the Tripmine did get a nerf. Uh, it can only be activated now when you step over it, um, no longer by proximity. However, it did get a buff for damage. Uh, now uh, you don't reduce damage when you slide or crawl over it. Another thing that they added was a nerf to the concussion grenade. Before you couldn't shoot while you were concussion, now it only limits your mobility, but you can still shoot. For equipment, something I thought was really cool, you can cancel a Molotov by throwing a cryo bomb at it and vice versa. So I thought that was really cool. Um, it just goes away, but you can still hear it, but it goes away. Now they keep nerfing the Annihilator. Now I got two nerfs this season. Uh, first one you can't lock onto or even do any damage to ballistic shields. And the second one is they decrease the bullet tracking range. So you have to be within like, I would say like 40 meters for it to even lock on. So you can still shoot, but you have to be very accurate. But for it to lock on, you have to be really, really pretty close to them. Next up, the Death Machine did get a buff for more ammo, and it increases with fire rate over time, so I would think this is more of a longer range operator skill now that the Annihilator got nerfed at range. Next up, we have the Equalizer, which got a buff for more ammo. Uh, it now has 160 bullets per clip. Um, I think it was 120 before, so really good for spraying and shredding in their base. The Ballistic Shield got a nerf for ammo. It has now 50 rounds per use. Um, but you have to keep in mind, just because you run out of ammo doesn't mean you can't, can't still use the shield for cover. And lastly, they're adding the Gravity Vortex Gun, which is a new operator skill through an event. Um, it's kind of like a vacuum, that's how I would put it. Now they did add the EMP for 1300 points, it's going to come through an event, and it does destroy any active score streaks, and you can't use any score streaks while this is active as well, um, and it'll last around 45 seconds, that's what I know from previous CODs. The Predator Missile got a buff, so now you can see when people are camping inside of buildings. And lastly, they optimized hip firing and ADSing with the XS1 Goliath. Alright, you pretty much made it to the end of the video. They did add a few more uh, changes, which I'll add on screen right now, as far as movement speed, switching weapons, switching between pro prone crouch, everything like that. I didn't really feel that much of a difference, but they definitely fixed some sort of bug. Now, they added a lot of ranked changes as far as skill-based matchmaking. Ranked is going to be harder, um, but ranked is only going to be one season long now. So, uh, I have all the other... Um, optimizations on screen right now but a lot of rank changes and that's pretty much going to do it as far as the major changes i'll be sure to link every other change on screen right now but make sure you enjoy the season while it lasts it, it's an amazing season but it goes by quick but as always like the video if you enjoyed subscribe for new and i'll see you in the next one peace